In this video, I am going to show you how to create a digital avatar or an AI talking head video of anyone. This technology is mind blowing and got a lot of possibilities and this is going to help a lot of people to create content online. All right, enough. I'll take it from here. All right, all right. I know we are not there yet, but soon we will take over all you humans. Just wait and watch. So that was pretty good. Let's see how we can create these kind of talking head AI avatars of yourself. And for this, we are going to use Hagen. And if you want to follow along with this video, make sure you check out the link in the video description below and go ahead and create your account there. So let's dive in and I'll show you everything step by step. All right, so once we log in inside our Hagen account, we have this dashboard. And here, in order to create our video avatar, we need to click on this option here. It says avatars. Let's click on this. And now we got two options, digital twin and photo avatar. Now we already have a recorded video, so we are going to use a digital twin. So right now, let's click on digital twin. And here is some quick guide about the video avatar. So I'm just going to pause it and click on get started. Now here are some things that you need to make sure before recording your video. So make sure you go ahead and read that. And I'm going to enable this option here. It says enable gesture detection. So it's going to take my footage and detect all the gestures, hand and head movements if I do any. So I'm going to check this. And once that is done, let's go ahead and click on next. So now it's time to upload the video. We can record it via webcam or we can record it via phone. But we already have a footage that we're going to use. So we will click on our local file and select that. All right, here is my file. I'm just going to select this. And just to give you a preview here, how it looks. Now, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good hand movements and my eyes and head got, uh, hand, I mean, movements as well. So let's see how it captures that. So I'm just going to leave everything as it is and then click on next. Now it's going to process my video and it's opening up the webcam. Now, the reason it's uh, doing this is to take my permission because we need to read this on the next screen that we are allowing Heijen to use this as our video avatar. So we need to do that. And I hope it picks up my voice here because right now I'm using the MacBook Air default mic because this mic is recording my camera. So let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to click on, let me close this one. So I'm just going to click on start recording. And here, this is the text we need to read out. Let's click on start recording. Finish recording. And it's going to take a few seconds. Let's see how it goes. All right, it says consent is validated. I personally believe that I uh, did some mess up in speaking, so, but still it got validated. So perfect for us. Let's click on next. And here it's detecting all the things in the video. It's taking its time. The video is minimum two minutes long or more than that, which is required. So we are good on this and it's taking, I mean, the review is going on. Let's wait for it to finish. It's just checking all the marks, maintaining same position in frame and everything looks perfect. All right. So I hope this one looks perfect and let's see how it goes. Let's click on submit and it's going to upload our video and Boom. All right. So it says that the avatar is in process. We get notification from Hagen. So let's click on done. And it says your avatar is ready. And let's do some confirmation again. I'm not sure why it's asking again. So let's click on continue. All right. So now it's processing the avatar. It's 1% done. We need to come back and see how it goes. All right, looks like our digital avatar is ready. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's click on check it out, of course. And it says it's ready. Now that looks really good. Let's play it again. All right, let's click on next. 
All right, let's click on got it. And our video avatar is ready and it's adding some gestures to it. All right, so it looks pretty damn good. I mean, I was doing some hand movements in between and it captured perfectly that moment. And it looks good. I mean, I can crop that part where I just shift my hand. So other than that, the eyes mouth movement looks perfectly fine. Just need to test it with some script. All right, now everything is set. Let's go ahead and click on create video. I'm going to click on, let's say landscape video. And the avatar we are going to choose is our own. So let's click on this. All right, so now it's selected. It's also going to take our voice, which I want to test because we already have 11 labs for voice. So let's see how this one goes. All right, so I have the script left, paste it here, and it's just a paragraph just to test how it works. So it says, all right, and the script looks perfectly fine. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'm going to leave everything as it is. And then let's click on generate. Let's give it a name. And here are the formats. And I'm going to remove the Hagen watermark, of course. And then click on Submit. All right, so it's processing. Let's close this. And it's showing that it says 2% ready. So maybe we need to wait for a few minutes and let's see how it goes. All right, so it looks like our video is ready. So let's go ahead and click on this and check it out. Your WordPress site isn't truly complete until it has the right forms. Forms are how you connect with your visitors, whether you're collecting messages, accepting payments, generating leads, or building your email list, they're the key to real interaction. But with so many form plugins out there, how do you know which one's the best for you? In this video, we're diving into the top WordPress form plugins, breaking down their features, their strengths, and who they're perfect for. By the end, you'll have all the info you need to pick the one that fits your site like a glove. Let's jump in. That's pretty mind blowing and it did a pretty good job. I am completely satisfied with that. I mean, you can see that it is an AI generated, but with a lot of B-rolls and a quick cuts, you can make it work. So this looks pretty good. So this is how easy it is to create your custom AI talking head avatar. So no matter if you are a small business owner, freelancer, if you want to take your business online and create content about it, then you have no excuse now. Once again, check out the link in the description below for Hagen and I'll see you in the next video.